All right, welcome back to the TV studio. Coming at you live here from the World of Solutions show floor. Uh, we're so glad to have you back here with us today. And again, we are really trying to kind of recap what's happened over the last three days. It's hard to believe we're already at the end of the run. Uh, when I look back to when we started shooting some really fun video on Sunday, and then on Monday we were starting to do some interviews, and we think only two days ago it was the keynote in the morning. Yeah. And here we are on Thursday afternoon already. It's, it happened so rapidly. That last segment from 30 seconds ago feels like a long time ago at this <laughs> it point. Does. It does. I have that effect on people. I've yeah. noticed this over time. Uh, you're joined. I should, I, I, I should let you know something is happening over here to your left. You might, yeah. Look who's back. Hey there. Hello, our Hello. friend. Hello. You're back Hello. in the house with us. Let's talk a little bit about social media on uh -huh. the day. We've been telling people to continue to reach out to us on a variety of platforms, networks, however they can get to us using that hashtag, which is all together, one, two, three. Claire. Yeah. Right? Um, what have we heard from people today? Uh, give us some numbers, give us kind of an update on what we learned. Surely, yeah, so in the last 24 hours, we've had around, again, over a thousand mentions to Cisco Live Europe. We've hashtag Claire, as we mentioned, 4,000 times. Wow. We've had a fantastic amount of uh, video views on Facebook Live over just under 16,000 minutes of content watched uh, and reached 80,000 people. So wow. a fantastic channel for us. It's, it's really paying off. Wow. Awesome to get that content in front of people. Uh, what about the rest of the team? So there are 10 of you out here on the social media team. There is. Are, um, they, uh, are, they, are they hitting you and saying, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what I just heard, what I just read? It, exactly, yeah. You know, the team of, you know, they're, they're having a great, great time just you know kind of engaging with people people are coming up to us they're asking questions they're asking how they can use social better um, I, I would like to add there is one person in the team that I forgot to mention yesterday and Please. that is that Cisco Live you know Mark Homs lead Stina who does a fantastic job looking after the whole area so shout out to we Stina. We appreciate yeah. it. Oh that's fantastic. Uh, what about silly stuff are people just talking business or is anybody having any fun here in Barcelona? Loads of fun. Yeah. Loads of fun? You, you, definitely loads they of fun. They didn't get the memo you're not supposed to have fun here you're just supposed to work it's, while you're here. It's all about the fun so we're getting lots of content shared for what people are up to obviously whilst they're here there's some great stuff to pick up in the was um, and they're also kind of you know in the evenings you know enjoying what Barcelona has to offer. Beers, tapas and more. Yes. So I'm curious, I, I know we showed a few images last time we had you on and such, and maybe we showed too many, but I wondered if we could see just a couple more. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what we're seeing. I think we had a few in the back to bring up here. Okay, so general manager of Cisco Spain. Okay, so this brings up a question for me. How often do you think people are starting to use the, following the hashtag, like what I do, I follow the hashtag to find mm. out where the free beer is, yeah. or if, if there's some kind Why of- Why does that not surprise me, Rob? Location-based services. Yeah. Other emergency situations that I need to be When was the last time you brought free beer back to us in the studio, Lauren? <laughs> well, it's only been about 30 seconds, oh, right? Oh, man, okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, so, oh, look, at people are morphing their face. Is this an application? Were you guys so, doing anything different, or are people doing this themselves? No, so it's something that we uh, developed. Uh, it's part of the whole kind of VR experience that we have going on. So it's a Facebook filter where you can superhero yourself. And I think if I can just see, it's, it's obviously, they start you in this, this guy. Yeah. yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> Lauren and I think are setting something up to, you could be an instant TechWise TV guest uh, by, by appearing. I didn't think about using VR. That's true too. Oddly enough, that'd be easier for us to do than just simply building a cardboard right. 2D stand. 2D tech-wise, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, absolutely. So this Ooh. next picture here, this is more just kind of a... The smart city. I didn't realize, oh no, that is yeah, an actual, cool. they have so that thing built up there with the Sphero balls? Exactly, yeah, so it's the Maze um, 2.0, and uh, this is um, some guys, some um, Academy Day, so they've been kind of like checking it out, so a, a great um, piece of content. Oh, now. there's some more from the Academy exactly. students? Exactly, yeah. So, ex so how much do you understand what they're here doing and what kind of their focus is? Have they helped us build some of the network out? Are they? Is that the I, team that's? I'm not. I'm not too sure if they've helped build the network out. Um, Are there other questions I, you're uncomfortable with? I could ask. I yeah. think it's more of a learning experience. I've got than a few you're all out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Rob. No, yeah, absolutely. I'm here to make you look good. That's all. I didn't know the what answer either. What can you tell us honestly. about oh, okay. DNA Center? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are the experts. <laughs> no, no so, okay, so obviously it pays well to share. You guys do like seeing images better. You think that kind of thing gets a little more traction? It, it definitely helps, you know, yeah. to, to actually kind of like show, show the experience. You know, images yeah. are easy to translate in words. So. Is everybody being friendly? Have we had to shunt, shunt anybody off? Uh, no, no every, everybody's then? lovely. Yeah. Everybody's. Yeah. Keep it positive, That sounds so cool when he says it. <laughs> I know. So everybody's like, lovely. No, no. If I say great. lovely, everybody goes, stop talking like that. Lovely, lovely. We're not allowed to say cheers either, so you know. No. Oh. Um, so we haven't had anybody uh, uh, coming in and trolling and saying things that you've had. Now let's just go ahead and shut that aside. People have been good and they've been uh, supportive. Nice. And no, everybody. You, you know, I think people that are following and engaging with this hashtag Clear. Uh, again, it's, it's the it's the wider Cisco community. You know, I don't think we wouldn't have to shut them down. 
Yeah. You know, they're either yeah. accepting the computation or the they The community are. would do it for you. Exactly. Isn't that's, that a, that's what cool we said. No? Yeah. Although uh, Twitter, I guess, uh, I had a Cisco champion earlier who was tweeting so much with the hashtag Clear that they thought he was a bot, and so they... <laughs> Oh, then they shut him down? Marked him a spam. That, oh, nice. That's, that's so something you want that to ease funny. off now, all right? Yeah. It's yeah. a little too much. Gerd, it's a little too he's up like PR over here. He's like, we've addressed that simply. <laughs> we, we have. We've we we reset have. the algorithms. It was all good. Everything's good. Well, we've got a fantastic team, and we've kind of you know, checked out the yeah. APIs, and yeah, they're, they're on it. Hey, Gerd, tell us about the next steps, right? You go home. You've got all of this information uh, that you've been able to gather over the next few days. What do you do? Do you just keep posting out uh, for the next few weeks? Do you get back well, in touch with a lot of these it, people and maintain these relationships? Funnily enough, it hasn't actually stopped since Berlin for us. <laughs> As a team, we have, we have carried on throughout the year. So for us, the engagement isn't starting two weeks or a month before the event. And a week after, it's 365 days of the year. We want to keep, this is a community, we want to kind of keep that conversation going online. And that's what we'll be striving to do. So the emphasis for us here has been capturing that FOMO, the, the, the whole experience here, and we'll be continuing to talk about it. You know, we want to get more people here next year, so. How do we do it? I mean, is it just a matter of continuing to put that word out and let people know what is available to them? I mean, we try to do that during the broadcast. We say there, it's terrific to, to tune in remotely, but getting here to the show, being a part of the energy and the excitement, there's really nothing that replaces it, that right. that one-on-one, -on -one, that face-to-face. -face. Exactly. No, there isn't, but, but a lot of things, and I think you've said this before, relationships start here. Um, and they get refed here. Mm. And so I, I think they do get fed at a different level when you're physically together. At the same time, there's a lot of friends and people that aren't here with us physically, but we know are still with us in spirit. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Judith, thank you. I, I, we love having you here at the end of each day to, to share with us. We're sort of trapped. We're in our little, you know, caged in bubble over <laughs> yeah. here, uh, a trust bubble. And uh, having you come by at the end of each day and, and share with us what's happening on the outside uh, so that we know that the message is getting out and people are connecting and communicating uh, with you, with the show, with everything happening here and with what's happening with us as well. Really good to uh, have you in here. So thank, thank you, you all the thank way throughout the thank week. You. I'm so glad. All right, we're going to roll to another VT at this point. Uh -oh. uh oh, what is this one? Ox Pop, I believe. Oh no. Yeah, do you <laughs> want to set this we... up? All right, sure. So this will be the first time we actually see this. Uh, we've we've edited, I'm finding my camera. Yeah, sure. Um, Rob and I went out and we interviewed a bunch of folks uh, just to see what they're <laughs> finding exciting about Cisco Live, superheroes, all of that, you know, describing Cisco Live in three words, I think. Um, so. This will be the first time we've actually seen it. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask if you'd so seen it. So it'll be it, yeah. exciting okay. for us to watch. So uh, can, can we roll the video? Let's roll tape. It's a very fantastic experience. Developers, engineers, and ops. Fantastic information overload. <laughs> Learning and having fun. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Collaboration. Brilliant. It's fantastic. Playful. Connect learn and um, uh, uh, lunch. <laughs> lunch, I like that answer. What would your IT superpower be if you could choose one? Uh, the capability to see everything, what's going on in the network. The best collaboration. Troubleshooting, uh, unified communication issues. Debugging in my mind. What would your IT superpower be if you could choose one? Uh, I will choose myself. I'm a superhero power girl. <laughs> High density internet. That's my skill. Bam. You found one. <laughs> what is your favorite part of Cisco Live? Rise Against Hunger and working here and packaging meals. The world of solutions is very great. Right now, NetBrain. I love the DevNet area. Talking to all the Cisco personnel and asking the hard questions. Getting to ask difficult questions to experts, this kind of things. Meeting all these great people and seeing how networking is going to change the world. That is a great answer, thank you. I'm going to have you back. Oh my gosh, that was the best edit ever. I, I, I think there's nothing better than Lauren Malhoy trying to chase someone down the concourse <laughs> on the microphone saying, what was that, what was that, what was that? There um, was a lot of that. That was a hoot. And I think they just, in about a minute and a half, touched on all of the uh, primary elements of the show here. I mean, they popped out with, well, lunch. 
Let's just go to lunch. Let's forget about everything else that happened here on the show. Well, floor. The, you know, lunch is notoriously bad at every tech conference. <laughs> so the fact that people are actually talking about how good it is here makes yeah. me feel, I don't know, it warms my heart. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Um, did anything, can either of you remember something some, that oh. somebody said that didn't make it into the edit here that we can yeah. share as a behind a the things. scenes? Yeah. Go, okay. away, go away. Go away? Did you actually get a go away from someone? <laughs> several. I don't like these things. I'll be honest. I like leaving them to the producers who are not involved just because I think producers are naturally good creatures at uh, asserting themselves into people and their situation. I don't naturally like to do that. I don't know if you do or not, because you're going up and as soon as they see you come with a microphone, they're, they're kind of like, whoa, don't make eye contact. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to switch onto a different persona to yeah. kind of do that. I had to become Mr. Mr. Annoying Guy with you the mic. You just do it. You just shove the microphone yeah. in their face and you say, we're going to talk here. I but was, if you see the full video, I'm literally jumping up next to people, <laughs> like uh, surprising them, trying it to just like get them. It looks like, don't give them time to think, no, in other words, right? No, that was mild compared to oh, wow. what actually happened. So in you the got into it. <laughs> well, it wasn't working to just ask people. Interviewing yeah, is a you, contact sport. It was. You adjusted, though, it was I aggressive. like that. Yeah. You adjusted. <laughs> you know, and it's also different on a show like this. We can't underestimate, oh, there she is, our dear friend. Oh, she's further um, away this time. I, she is further away. We must have she? some pull. They put her in a different room. Um, this is also a difference between being on a show in the U.S., being on a show uh, in Asia, Absolutely. being on a show yeah, here. Yeah. And the fact is, in certain areas, people just a bit more sedate. Not that they don't get excited about the I content. I think it's conservative, um, just respectful. Maybe We're more some of our camera maybe crew, in America. <laughs> some, of our British, some of our British remote camera crew, they're, they're so polite. And I'm like, get to the question. <laughs> exactly. What were the it out. We're the They're puppy so dogs nice. of the I'm world. Like, they it. know us. They understand us. Yeah. We are going to roll right now to a great overview of sort of the uh, highlights of the event. On the backside, we're going to come back and talk I about what's been that. exciting us throughout the course of the day and the week. Check this out. We'll see you in just a moment. Barcelona. Intent-based networking is a strategy that we've been driving across the entire portfolio. This is my first Cisco Live. I just saw the keynote. Wow. I like it. I like it. I've just moved to the world of solutions. It's a great opportunity for networking. How does your revenue change when your technology performance changes? We've been on this journey now for three or four years with ACI. Do you have an effective security posture? Embodying the network intuitive as one solution together is really key for Cisco. breakout sessions and there's so much to learn. Great place to see Cisco products and solutions. And so what you need to do is get started today. You really cannot delay or wait on this.
Oh, that's a beautiful thing. And I got to say, that's also a, a bit of a bittersweet thing as well. Every time we come to the end of one of these broadcasts, and this is our final segment. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in with us now, thank you for staying with us all the way down uh, to the end. And we're going to wrap it up over here in the next few minutes for the entire show. So we started with Rowan, we ended with Rowan. That was sort of perfect, Fitting. right? And Full he circle. said exactly the right thing there, which is you don't delay start today. I mean, it may rhyme, but boy, does that work. And, and we have the tools and the solutions today. That's what he wanted to let everybody know. We don't have to wait anymore. We don't have to pause. We are here for a very specific reason. It's because of all 12,000 of these people, everybody else who is in, involved in a part of the Cisco ecosystem, and they are the superheroes, right? They are IT. We always say this, you are IT. Um, I want to just kind of talk through some thoughts on today, thoughts on the entire week. Uh, what sort of stands out at you as we head out of 2018 in Barcelona and look forward to the next conference? Yeah, well, I'm excited. I mean, Cisco's constant evolution in, more into software, uh, more into cloud native ap applications, more into coding. I think that is the theme of the show, really. I mean, yeah, we did a lot of launches around assurance and analytics and all of that. That all plays in, of course. Um, but things like Cisco Container Platform, um, the Hyperflex launch going into cloud, you know, of course we already had Intersight with Hyperflex. Uh, it's all, it's overwhelming, but we're making it easier, I guess. Okay, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, Rob? Yeah, you know, one of the things that happens at these kind of things, and I, if you ever go to a, um, like a productivity conference, or a, you go hear a good speaker, uh, uh, you know, like a TED Talk style or something, but even like this, so, you know, I think it, there's a tendency to get very excited about all the things that you can do and that you're planning to do, um, but then we all go back, every single one of us, and hit that reality of, oh, I got stuff I got to get done, I've got projects uh, that are suddenly pressing, and it is really hard to take this energy and take the ideas and the enthusiasm and the goodwill you know, that you've developed here and then execute on it. Because sure enough, you blink and you're back around and if you're fortunate enough to get to come every year, then you, you kind of look back and you go, because I, I went back and I watched the, uh, our recap video uh, from the US and then also from Berlin last year, just, you know, because on, on, on one level, it's just interesting to see where things change. Who was there, who's not here, uh, who was on the crew, who wasn't, uh, you know, what were kind of our major themes, because some themes kind of stay the same. But really, I'd say, and you kind of hinted at this, with what Rowan was saying, but it's how well do you take this, but go do something, it's all just talk if we don't actually take action. Well, and look, any this is what they say about any good conversation, any good uh, uh, talk that somebody gives, any good demonstration that somebody gives, if you don't end with something that is actionable, mm -hmm. It is interesting that you said, you go back and you look at what we were talking about in Las Vegas, right, last mm -hmm. year, or if you look at what happened in Berlin a year ago from where we're sitting right now, have we been able to execute? Um, from the Cisco side of it, you guys get a chance to walk around. I've been lashed to that desk right over there uh, for the uh, last three are. days, but as you walk around and you talk to people, do you get the sense that they feel, yeah, we're executing, we're executing on a daily basis, we're getting the job done? Yeah, absolutely, I mean, I, I don't think anyone in IT is not executing every day. Mm -hmm. I, it's, if you aren't, then you probably don't have a job right now, because that is that's the role. Um, what I also think is taking away these relationships, too. I think mm. that's important, uh, you know, aside from the tech. You meet people here, you make relationships, don't just drop them. Um, you know, continue to DM, continue to tweet each other, get in spark rooms, all of that stuff. I had two Cisco champions that didn't know each other that were both working on similar things and connected live to earlier today. I mean, mm -hmm. stuff like that, I think that's really important. Um, as well as I just realized that on the Cisco Events app, you can IM people. I oh, just really? found that oh. out last night. That's really so cool. use that, sorry it's the last day, the last not one more reason I hope to I'm not missing any messages, right? You know, yeah, we've, been telling, notified. we've been telling people all week to download the Events app, now we have yeah. one more reason to be able yeah. to do that. So I did want to mention that, just know that for the future. Okay, yeah. all right, very, very cool. I just want to mention, I'm worried that the overhead announcer, Yeah. so it was a female that interrupted us so many times, So now we're getting interrupted by a male, and I'm concerned about the job. Oh. Did something happen with the lady that was interrupting well, us? It went from a British lady to not, a... Not touching that one. She, you know what, she got fed up with it, she went off to the women in tech section of the conference. But she was decided it voluntary she wants to do something or involuntary? Oh, yeah. voluntary or involuntary? No, I'm going to go with voluntary. All Entirely right. voluntary, like you take this from now on. This is, this is beneath me. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it any longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, go to a couple of favorite fun moments. Um, let's go ahead and let's leave the tech behind. What are as you reflect back on the last three days? Um, what was something you just had a really good time with? What where you just found yourself laughing on a surprise level? <laughs> Gosh, 
I was all ready for a technical question. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah. We've been talking tech for three days. I want to talk amongst three well, of us. Because I don't know. I mean, I have trouble distinguishing between the two, to be honest. Um, I know it sounds so, so uh, I don't know, it doesn't sound right, to, to, you know, just to say, uh, because I do, I do tend to blend the two. It's, it's all the conversations that stick out to me as being the most fun. Um, the one thing I didn't mention before is when, when, so when Lauren and I were having to go around, and we were separate, we didn't get to see each other until we really had no idea what may come out in the edit. Because we record so much more than actually ever shows yeah. up, which is amazing, because it seems like a lot was still there. Um, but it was, um, I was starting to burn out a little bit on trying to hit people up for questions or, or be pithy, you know, and, and, and try to be Mr. In Your Face camera guy, uh, microphone guy, and Luke, one of our script to screen producers uh, that was with me on this one. I don't know if he was with, had gone out with you on it. And um, he suddenly turned and he grabs the mic and did the same thing to me. Now, I talk a lot for a living, you know, a lot of what I do. <laughs> did she just do that? For a living or? I'm all the way over here. I didn't see what she did. There was a little bit of a, a, of a slam. It's the, it's the puppet show portion of the yeah. show. For oh, those maybe of you that's yeah, what, yeah, you're exactly. right. Puppets, I didn't think yeah, of that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. As you're currently two minutes into your but monologue. I know. So he's so, this is me not having anything to say. Just have you used what I said? I have nothing to say, but it's going to take me 20 minutes to get it out. Absolutely. Well, we've only got um, like a minute and a quarter. Wait, I'm left, still so. building up to something, Steve. Yes, 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 go for it. Um, Luke turned around, he had grabbed the mic, and, and then he did that to me, and he goes, give me three words. Same question I've been asking everybody. Yeah. Listen to things, and I froze. Interesting. I really well, it froze. Well, hard for you to keep it to three words. Was that the problem? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> you had so frozen. running through your head, right? How do you break it down to three? I was so frozen. Oh, let me tell the second one. The other one was, yeah. I don't, no, no, let me go. So, <laughs> it was, was when we were in doing the, um, we came in early in the morning for rehearsals for that keynote, and then when we were going live, the one thing, and it was nobody's fault, but the one thing nobody realized was that that PA system lady that we keep talking about On was going timer. off, but it was the first time it had gone off, right? Because uh, it interrupted the keynote speakers as well, which right. I think is a little bit more important than us. But the first time it happened to me, and I was supposed to do the microphone with the guest, and so he starts talking, and it happened there, and it froze me on that one. And he's talking, and of course I can hear him fine, because standing next to me, and then finally I realize when it comes back, because I'm going to start asking him a question, I go for that muscle memory to bring the mic back, but the mic was already there. And, and I realized that I don't think anybody heard the answer to that question, because I'm like frozen, <laughs> listening to the person going, surely that's a mistake. Yeah, we're supposed to be professionals don't, don't here. Don't call me you know what this does, know, though? No. Is what this I'm gives, saying is I'm not a professional at all. <laughs> this gives a really good hint as to what happens back behind the scenes, and I think that's a really important thing to say. You know, we get uh, the joy of being out here in the front, and uh, and that's fun and that's terrific. But when we look at how many people it takes to put this together, uh, we get we get to be out here. Our jobs are so much Kate. easier we and fun. We get to leave at the mm -hmm. end of the day. But there is this group of people that is right back there behind the wall that you can't see. I'm pointing in that general direction. I see on the overhead shot. But behind that big monitor back over here behind us is a group yep. of, of some of the best human beings uh, in this industry and we rely so heavily on them. You, you've got a list of people so we I don't do. forget anybody, right? I do. And I, I wish we had imagery to go to all this, but yeah. then that would have given it away that I was going to call out some names. I first want us to say thank you to the two editors uh, who I think are unsung heroes because despite the fact that we work with some great remote crews and you know, supposedly we're capturing great content, there's some people, I don't know if I can say this, we called this a team I used to work with before, not this team, used to call this, um, some editors do it, called turd polishing. Yeah, it's polishing the turds. Yeah. yeah, so in other words, they have to take whatever we give them uh -huh. back and then polish it as best they can, and that's great for an editor to be able to do, that's one thing, but these editors actually do it with a really fast turnaround. The two editors that are back here, and uh, I know, I think both of them have been up at night in their hotel rooms actually working on stuff to, to keep up. <laughs> they just keep it go. bringing us a new clock as you continue. Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, the clock keeps, <laughs> they keep, well, they, they know the Rob is out here, so they're like, oh, I know the way this works. You gave me a mic. <laughs> I did. So David Sutton, Simon, uh, Simon Hurdle, I need to take my glasses off. Yeah, 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 that's why. Simon Hurdle, thank you very much. Yeah. I mean, also Bob to our guys. remote team, no, not that Simon, I saw other Simon. Simon, I'll get to you in a oh, second. We're going to thank that Simon through here as well. <laughs> Script to screen guys, Luke Paddington leading that team, yeah. then also Madhu, all the way from our Bangalore office, Great. Uh, running the entire Cisco TV presence in India for us right And all now, the way up to the last minute, by the way, um, uh, uh, we're going to have a piece that we're going to show later after all this broadcast oh. is done of us oh, I thought, doing a little quick jog back. Oh, we are going to show that. I think it's going to happen at some point. I don't know some when and where. Guys. I'm not going to make promises, but that was loads I of fun. I figured it didn't turn out well, and that's why we hadn't heard about it. Just the last thing that we got to do with my do while we were Can here. Can I read some names? Please. Chris Baldwin and Kevin Walker, thank you. That was one of our remote camera yeah. crews. While we're sticking to remote camera crews, also Kirsten Noel working with you is so lovely uh, again as well, as well as Joel and Itch. Mm -hmm. um, 
These guys are awesome. They're great. But uh, let's see here. Rachel, who's our producer right now. She is in our ears even as she's we speak. She's in our ears as we speak. And brought us prawn and cocktail Yay. chips. So <laughs> I have to say thank you for that. Oh, Sue Brincat, our visual TV director yeah. there in the back. Uh, hold on, make sure. God, I can't read this small print. Uh, MCR, what is that, MCR? Dominic Cassidy. Is that graphics of some sort? All right. Master Control, thank you. See, thank Rachel, you. taking See? care of us again. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Chard uh, running the keynote. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing names wrong. Engineers, thank gosh yeah. you guys are checking this going out. Todd, Alexander, Steven, Jer, Janian, Janen. Thank you again, Rachel. <laughs> I love, I wish she could be in my ear. She's better than Alexa. Oh, live theater's a beautiful uh, Chris thing. Chris Mack, Kenny, Rob, Adam, Richard, Mark. I'm just going with first name. This shows you Stan. how many people it takes to make it happen. Stan, Grammy, Rob. Grammy, Gammy, Grammy? Who's got that one? Graham. Why am I adding? Well, the Grammy. E threw me I've, off. Heard, I've heard you say Rob twice. There's another Rob. I'm There's another Rob, yeah. There's no, another Rob. Sure yeah. You're Absolutely. Not, uh, okay. Right now. I think I've got all the names. Simon, of course, yeah. who uh, leads everything here that we're doing, kicking us off, and also for Erica, who comes over mm -hmm. from the. Adam, who's handling Eric, sound, who's back over Eric here. Is. Steven, who's been running the, 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 the set here in just magnificent ways. Oh, Carrie, oh my God. Oh my God. See, this what happens. She's not in our ear this time because our. I know, our I know. Are well, our producers in the back there. I mean, fantastic the work that Carrie's been doing. Talk about it without hearing back. And then Carrie my heart, director. Erica, wherever you are out there in the. the I um, read on Facebook that she's pregnant. Erica Seeley? Shh. Were no, I thought that was open. I think it's open now. Yeah, Erica's <laughs> amazing. She is the one who really uh, makes all of this happen around us. And she's responsible for getting us here as well. Someone and, signed uh, us off. The, <laughs> I didn't mean to imply that the, that the crew was responsible. <laughs> oh, God. Someone caught the camera. Yeah, um, <laughs> if, if we missed anybody on that list, I'm so sorry that we did it, but boy, uh, we couldn't do what we do here without. And, uh, and the last thing that I want to kind of leave everybody with, Again, I will say it one more time, one last time since we have the uh, cameras on us. 12,000 people who made the effort to get here to Barcelona from all over the world. We cannot thank you enough for being a part of this. You are the reason that we're here and that all of this takes place around you. And if you look at the logistics that it takes to set up this event, from one end of the hub to the other end of the Waz. Um, we do this for all of you, and we're so grateful that you made the effort to come here to Barcelona. For everybody who has taken the effort to tune in throughout the course of the last three days, all of this Bless great you. curated content, all of this broadcast that has been put together all these hours, we are so grateful to all of you for being here and being a part of it as well. And from my own personal uh, uh, standpoint, getting the opportunity to share this set with, uh, with my friends Lauren and Rob, um, you guys are the best in the biz, and the I look forward mutual. to it. It's delightful and divine and mm. warms the cockles of my heart, <laughs> as they say. Cockles? So, yeah, we've got, so all three Careful. of us have hot cockles here at this moment. Careful. There, there you have it. Oh. Um, as a last sign off, thank you so much to all of you. I know we're on the overhead camera, which is somewhat over in are we? I don't that know. general. We are, you can <laughs> see it back up here. They cut us off 10 minutes I don't ago. know if that's the We're going to give you a, uh, a, a big kiss and wave. Thank you all so much, and we will see you on the next broadcast. Thank you, Cisco Nation. Bye-bye, everybody. So a lot of times you don't get a chance to see what goes on behind the scenes. In fact, I don't always get a chance to see behind the scenes because this is normally where I would live, bringing stories perhaps from the show floor. I thought it'd be fun to take a look and discuss all that potentially has to happen to make this kind of stuff come out. So this room here, this is the big set of tables. This island in the middle is where the producers sit. So in this particular Please, I'm trying to finish something professional here. This room here is where the producers and the editors are putting everything together based on what we've recorded uh, somewhere on the show floor. So they bring all that footage back. Uh, the editors here, they don't, they're not usually allowed to see much in the way of daylight, but they're responsible for making all this stuff come back together, make sense of what we recorded. There's our executive producer, Luke, who's here as well. He's just running this team out, bringing some of that footage back, been all over Barcelona, pretending to be working, sightseeing, and under the act. Yeah, there we go. Todd over here is responsible. He's an engineer responsible for uh, verifying that all the sources are coming in correctly, because we've got feeds from the uh, innovation talks. We've got feeds from the, um, did you have a question, sir? Too blah, much talk, blah, too much blah, talk. Blah, blah, blah. We've got feeds from the keynote. So all that live comes into here so that it can be switched, including, of course, the studio. Um, hey, there's Rob. another resource for coming in. I told you. What happens when I press these buttons? Don't, don't. Hey, this position here is actually where the engineers verify everything that's coming out of here. If you come in closer with me here for just a second, 
They usually don't ever let this door stay unlocked. These are the media encoders. We're doing simultaneous uh, encoding streams, two to YouTube, one to Facebook Live. I think another one to Cisco.com and Cisco Live Europe. Dot com, something like that. Anyway, they verify it's all coming out. They verify it's working. These guys look a little bit stressed most of the time, and they usually have a banana on the wall over here. I notice it's not here now. It's usually a competition each day to verify how long. Chris? Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. Usually to verify exactly how long that banana can stay up before stress levels reach a certain peak. Another Chris? Now. No, 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 I'm good. Eat thank the you. the one you've got. It's hard Chris to talk. No, no, thank you, but I appreciate it. Yeah. You guys are a oh, big yeah. help, I just want to say. Don't feed the camera. The director's gonna sit here and um, make, make decisions about what live feeds are coming in. So you got each of the cameras represented. And we've got audio and stuff over here. Um, we've got our dancers who are heading back out the stage so that hopefully we can continue with our show in just a moment. And then this position here, producers sit here. They're talking in the talent's ears to verify. Can you, you finish really this for me? Uh -huh. Thank you. This position over here is lighting. Okay, so he gets the big buttons? comp. Do not push those buttons. And then over here, all of the content gets verified and, and uh, it run through the Cisco Live team. Uh, a couple ladies back here have been sitting here making sure that we have the right content, the right themes, the right stories connected with the right stakeholders. Let's go back and finish the show out here. This is why the talent is not supposed to be out there. They're I supposed to remain talent, here. By the way, talent is an industry term. It does not necessarily apply to no. the specific people. Rob that actually are made it up. Where? Yeah, <laughs> I use it loosely. There's no yeah. way that we could do what it is that we do without all of them back behind the scenes. It may look easy out here in the front, but the amount of people it takes to put this together, it's astonishing. And they are the best are standing lights in the industry. Us. I know, that's right? Well, that's true too. Anyway, thank you, Cisco TV. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Welcome to the future. Good news, it has everything you ever dreamed. And the banking here is just as advanced as everything else. Maybe you're out for a 